using EBSCO to access or find articles at the New School of Architecture and Design Library. EBSCO is one of the library databases that the library subscribes to, and you can access it on the left-hand toolbar here under Online Library Resources by clicking on the link. New School subscribes to five different databases through EBSCO. Those include Art and Architecture Complete, Academic Search Complete, the Avery Index, Green File, and an eBook collection. If you know what you're looking for, you can just search one of them or select and search all of them. So searching EBSCO is the same as searching Google. You just type in your search term and hit go. And it's going to show you all the results in EBSCO that are related to your search. So this includes items which are held in print in the library, as well as items which are not available and are just abstracts online and PDFs. So you can tell if something's available in the library in the notes field. This one says this title is not held locally, which means we don't have it in print in the library, whereas the second record shows that the title is held locally, and that means you can access it in print in the library. So there are 266 results, but there are two ways that you can refine these to really help you find something. If you want to just read something online and you'd like to read the full text right now without having to go anywhere or go to the library, you can just limit to full text. And this is only going to show you resources which you can read the full text of right here on your screen, so either in PDF or HTML. The other thing you can do is limit to periodical holdings. And this is just going to show you items which we have in print in the library. So you can tell this by, you can see in the notes field, all of these say this title is held locally. So once you find a resource that looks interesting, you can click on the title to find out more information about it. In here, you can see the source, which tells you which publication it's in, so Architecture and Urbanism, and the year and month the publication was released, and then the page numbers that relate to this particular article. The source also has additional information about the content. So you can see this article includes photographs, sketches, sections, site plans, diagrams, and computer drawings. Another useful thing to look at is the subjects, which is going to tell you a little bit more about the content of the title. So now you have all the information that you need to go and find this on the shelves. To find that on the shelves, simply go to the periodical shelves at the back of the library and find the publication. The publications here are arranged alphabetically by title and then chronologically within each publication. Remember that periodicals in the library are referenced, so you cannot check them out, but you can read them in the library or make a scan or a copy of the